Hey everybody, this is an interesting video clip of two new types of solid conventional paint that have been made um, by unconventional means and we've managed to get them incredibly black so we'll do a reference here. This is original uh, Vanta Black and then this is Vanta Black S-Viz that everybody knows about and then this is version 1 of the paint and then this is a version designed for people to be able to apply themselves so you can see this is against a black reference background and we're now going to illuminate it with an ultra bright array and you can see just how the black background jumps out where the van der black is and then as we pass over the paint you can see a huge difference between the conventionally painted black background and the samples that are sitting on top of it now the right sample has a hemispherical reflectance of 0.8% THR and the one next to it, hemispherical reflectance of 0.5% THR. Now we're looking at it at shallow grazing angles. Normally, most super black surfaces um, that are based on conventional technology go quite specular, like shiny when you're looking across them. And you can see here, even at very, very shallow angles under bright light, the material is still very, very matte. This is a comparison of a commercial super black material that's used in space applications, not ours, but we put ours uh, conventional paint against it to see how it stacks up and then illuminate it both together. And this is with the uh, blackest 0.5% THR material. And you can see there's a big jump out when we illuminate it like that. And then we've done it again with the 0.8% THR material. And I must stress that these discs are coated with conventional black paints made from unconventional uh, or made by unconventional means to achieve these levels of performance that have previously not been seen. So we know it's difficult to try and get to grips with how black things are so we thought we'd compare it to a number of everyday objects that you might come across and this one's uh, an ordinary computer power supply. So we place the disc on top for comparison and then we'll light it with the same ultra bright array that we used before. Now this is a tile of Aeroglaze Z306 with a side by side comparison of the two different paints. Now Z306 is the coating that they use inside the Hubble Space Telescope to eliminate stray light. And you can see here once we illuminate it just how different the, co different the coatings are. Now we've gone for the blackest cloth that we could find. So we place a disc on there and then illuminate it again in the same way and you see just how much the cloth jumps out but the paint coating stays very, very black. We then thought we'd compare it against normal matte black spray paint and you can see here as it's placed on it just how different it is but wait till we shine the light on it. The paint almost looks blue. And then lastly we thought we'd take a mobile phone case and then brightly light it in the same way. Let us know what you think. We always uh, welcome your comments and feedback. Thanks a lot for watching.